Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2018 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we're back here at Weiwei, um, and we have Alex Kalmanson, and he's going to go over the heads up display. And I believe this is more for the commercial use. Yeah. So just like our product for the aftermarket, this is the, uh, an example of what it may look like uh, in a car built inside of it from a factory. Okay. So uh, the only difference here is that instead of having a little small screen in front of you, here this this little screen imitates the actual windshield. Oh wow! So this will be physically on the windshield itself. So it's there won't be anything between you and the windshield. There's a holographic film built inside. Okay. It's basically a smart windshield. That holograph uh, film works together with the components inside of this product to show the proper pro thing in the proper location. Okay. Okay. Now uh, it does the same things. Uh, it uh, you know has a full VR AR GPS system built in. It still projects you know at 30 feet away from you all the all the information or whatever the manufacturer of the car wants it to be at. Okay. You know we can adjust that. Uh, and then as far as this, the only di other thing that to, to mention here is that each manufacturer is going to decide how they want how big they want to go in terms of this film. Okay. Is it just going to be the si this size here or is it going to be bigger? Theoretically you can do the whole screen windshield. Oh wow. So in the future you can have a driverless car you can sit down, sit there, and watch TV or uh, get all kind of content in front of you as you're driving. Right, right. Especially with these uh, autonomous uh, vehicles that are out exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the future. But for now, this is a safety item. This is a user-friendly item for somebody who's driving and doesn't want to look away from, for, you know, from where he's going. Okay. Any uh, uh, manufacturer, car manufacturers, using this right now? Not yet. Okay. But we're working with about 80% of them right okay. now. Okay, that's a lot. So, that's a lot. Where basically everybody has been at this booth, uh, you know, Europe, Asia, US, you name it. And should we be seeing this uh, sometime in this year? So, in inside the car, because cars take a long time to pr product to yes. go to production, sometimes five, six, seven years, the, right now, the, this is going to be built into a car for 2025, okay. 2024 maybe, right. something like that. Okay, well thank you Alex. Thank you.